DFG Science TV, Bonded Concrete, Breaking Tests, How Strong is Ultra Strong. A fairly new method of construction is composite construction. Here, steel and concrete are combined in such a way that they act together and thus increase the load-bearing capacity of the beam. Therefore, composite structures are especially suitable for bridges and industrial buildings. There have already been several projects studying the load-bearing and deformation behaviour of composite beams at the Institute of Structural Concrete, involving both static and cyclic tests. A composite beam consists of a steel section and a concrete slab. The steel section carries the tensile forces and the concrete carries the compressive forces. For the two components to interact ideally, we need what is known as a shear connector. Normally, we use headed shear studs like this as shear connectors. However, their load-bearing capacity isn't sufficient for high-performance concrete and so we use continuous shear connectors. Here we have such a continuous shear connector, where a puzzle shape, which we therefore call a puzzle strip, has been cut into the web of a steel beam. The advantage of this is that we can make two shear connectors out of one steel beam. We can produce two steel beams produzieren. Push-out tests with ultra-high performance concrete are used to investigate the load-bearing capacity of shear connectors. The main influencing factors are identified by testing various parameters. The results of these tests can be used to derive design models for use of continuous shear connectors with ultra-high performance concrete. A shear connector is suitable if it has a high initial stiffness, a high load-bearing capacity and, most importantly, sufficient deformation capacity. These findings are then validated by performing beam tests. A beam consists of a steel beam made of high-strength steel S460 and a concrete cord made of ultra-high performance concrete. To check whether the reinforcing mesh is correctly arranged and whether the position of the puzzle strip is right, the beam is studied very carefully before the concrete is poured. While the concrete is being poured, great care is taken to ensure that the ultra-high performance concrete reaches every nook and cranny. It needs to be poked gently to enable the consolidation of the concrete. Then the concrete is covered over and kept wet while it sets. Test pieces are used to determine the material's properties. Up until the day of the test, they are stored under the same conditions as the beam. At the moment, the beam is being prepared for the test and the measuring equipment is attached. This will primarily be used to measure the deflection and slip between the steel beam and the concrete cord. We'll see if it has the load-bearing capacity hoped for in the next episodes. Visit DFG Science TV for more information. Awaken the researcher within you.